This is a video for our We Are Forgiven first CD project. And I wanted to go ahead and get started on this because uh, it's a 30-day uh, program. And so we want to kick it off in October, and it'll end at the end of October. And then we'll be able to go ahead and begin our first CD project beginning in November of 2014. And we're going to be recording at Rushing Winds Studios. Now, people may say, why does We Are Forgiven need a CD? And, of course, we've talked to a lot of people, and after we sing, people ask. And it's nice to have a, a CD, as they would call it, a product to quote-unquote sell after we're singing at a particular event. And that's great, but there are a couple other things that we've talked about and some people have shared with us as well that we feel maybe are, is a little bit more important than just the fact that uh, we've got a CD. And so I've asked a few people to respond to that, and they have. And we may have some additional responses, and if we do, then I'll post those, so I hope you'll check back. But um, a couple of things about a ministry, of course, all of you know that a ministry, people around around the ministry support it. We don't uh, we don't take anything personally out of our ministry. We don't buy uh, we don't buy suits. We don't put any money in our pockets. What it does is it provides uh, transportation to and from, provides meals if we've got to be out of town, and that kind of stuff. So uh, and only for the group members, not for anybody else that might be traveling with us. So we try to be very frugal and very careful with the funds that we do receive uh, for our ministry. We also travel to and go to and sing at and participate in a lot of community events, events where there is no love offering and there is nothing contributed to the ministry. So we want to be able to keep doing those kinds of things, um, the country fests and uh, uh, we also sing at the Open Arms Ministry down in Gastonia things like that. We want to be able to keep doing those types of uh, those types of ministries uh, because we feel like that's that's the place, those are some of the places where you can reach out to people that may not come in and sit on a church pew on a Sunday morning or a Sunday night or a Saturday night or, or whenever it might be. Now we, we love being at the churches. We've had some great homecomings here recently and uh, the people have been awesome and we've been so blessed uh, with what they've done for us and uh, the people that we've been able to worship and fellowship with. So we want to be able to balance our ministry. We feel like God is leading us to, to, to go in all places. We're not an act. We're not an entertainment. We're not a performance. Uh, we're a ministry, and we want to go where we can minister. We're not here to, to just show off. We're not to show, here to show off ourselves. Uh, you know, we do want to show off the talent that God's given us, uh, but not for our benefits and not for our glory, but for His glory. And then uh, we just pray that uh, that's what He'll keep doing. So a couple things about that, uh, referring to the ministry part of this, the needing a CD. The CD, uh, of course, in you know selling a CD, there are profits, and so the uh, the selling of that CD would would help uh, put some money back into the ministry after the initial payments are made to to pay for the production. Uh, the production itself is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of six thousand six hundred dollars. So we do have some funds. We're going to be able to put toward that but we're not going to have enough to go ahead and finish the project. And we don't want to start something that we can't finish. Uh, we tried something last year that didn't work out so well. So we want to make sure when we do it this time that we do it, uh, you know, follow it through. So, uh, but selling of a CD can, uh, can put some money back into the ministry. So that's one thing it does. Some things other people have mentioned is that it, um, of course, it's an opportunity to minister. Uh, people who have the chance to come in here and sing, point out a particular song and say, that song really touched me, I really would like to have a copy of it. And so uh, this would be an opportunity for them to purchase a CD and take that CD with them and it would minister to them and they may also have the opportunity to minister to somebody else as well. Uh, but also, we want to be in a position where we can you know, give away some CDs and if, if you support this project through this Kickstarter uh, venture, then um, there are going to be opportunities where somebody can't afford to buy a CD, uh, but they really want to take one home and, and listen to it or share it with others. Say to them, um, you know, go ahead and uh, go ahead and grab a CD and um, take it with you, and, and it'll be able to minister to them that way without them having to pay anything. Also, something else my sister mentioned: they live in in Winston Salem, 
and they're not able to be at all of our singings, of course. They're an hour and a half away from us, so uh, she said it would be nice to be able to have the CD and pop it in. So maybe while we're ministering, if she knows we're singing on a particular night somewhere or, or day or afternoon somewhere, she can pop it in and, and be praying for our ministry and be praying for those who are there uh, that they'd be blessed and that God would touch them. So those are all some of the things about some of the reasons why we feel like we need a CD. Uh, we don't just want to hear ourselves uh, because I, I don't like to hear my voice anyway, so I'm just straight up, I'll tell you that. Uh, but, you know, it's not about hearing ourselves. We're not here to glorify ourselves. Uh, we just want to support, uh, we just want an, another avenue to continue to s- support this ministry and, um, and also to uh, have a tool by which we can minister to others even after we're done singing at a particular event or if they can't be at the event. So those are some of those. So I'm trying to not make this too long, and I apologize if it is too long, um, but you know, I just want to make sure that everyone understands why we're doing this project, uh, that it's not just about wanting to record a CD. So, But a, another thing that uh, one of our uh, Pastor Andres up at Vino Nuevo in, uh, up in Winston, good friend of ours, great minister, awesome, awesome man of God, uh, he, he pointed out a scripture, uh, Habakkuk 2.2, uh, 2, and the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth. And then another version is, uh, Then the Lord answered me and said, Record the vision and inscribe it on tablets uh, that the one who reads it may run. And, uh, of course, that's a, about a prophetic message, and we understand that, uh, of course, you know the songs that we sing are about Jesus Christ, and some of them are about His, you know, coming back and that kind of thing. So some of those are prophetic, but but the whole scripture is prophetic. So um, we feel like this is a good scripture to uh, that kind of captures. And we appreciate Pastor Andres for putting that up there. Uh, but it feels like it really captures uh, in the essence of what we want to do. We want to record it. We want to have it um, in a recorded form. So that it can it can go out to others, it can reach others uh, besides just the people that might be there to uh, sing with us. Of course, you can look that scripture scripture up and uh, check out any uh, any uh, applications that that application Bibles or whatever that you have to look at it a little bit more deeply and see if uh, maybe that that speaks to uh, what uh, you think would be a, a good a good uh, support for this uh, particular project. Then we had uh, a great friend of ours, Deborah Peel, with the Promise. Uh, they've been great supportive supporters of ours as well. And if you're watching this and I don't mention your name, please don't take that as an offense. I'm just doing it based upon uh, some who have responded. Tina McKinney uh, is going to send us something. Uh, our pastors are working on some things. So like I said, hopefully we'll have those. We just needed to get this started because we have a 30-day window to do it. So, But Deborah Peel with The Promise, awesome, awesome uh, ministry, a, a great lady. She's been very supportive, uh, just like Tina McKinney. They're, we call them our mamas. They uh, they kind of got us started. Uh, they Through the leading of the Holy Spirit, they've encouraged us. Uh, but here's kind of what she said, and we weren't asking for anything that was uh, that was uh, braggadocious about us or about our ministry, but we just asked her to, to write something from her heart, and that's what she did. So I'm going to read this, and then uh, that'll be the end of the video. Uh, well, I just knew, I need to explain that if you do contribute to the Kickstarter campaign, it tells you exactly uh, how to do it, tells you how much. Uh, if, if you contribute 1250, then we'll send you a CD as soon as we get that CD done. Hopefully, it'll be in March of next year. And then, uh, you know, if you contribute more, then we'll send more CDs. So we just hope that you'll be uh, be as generous as God leads you to be. So we're not trying to tell you that if you send some money, you know, it's planting a seed and all that kind of stuff. But it is, uh, in you know, with respect to the fact that it's going to minister to other people. So we just pray that you'll go ahead and uh, just whatever God leads you to do uh, to help support this ministry, we would. We would be so appreciative of that and so thankful. Uh, but let me go ahead and read what Deborah Peel has writ- written, and then uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and pray, and we'll we'll finish up, and you can uh, make a decision based upon how God is leading you. But here's what she wrote. I'll try to do this without crying. Uh, I think I can do it. But uh, when I think of the Christian music group, we are forgiven. I immediately think about Mark 16:15, which reads, "And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." We Are Forgiven sings for no other reason than to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to their music ministry. We know all of the members of the group on a first name basis. Not only do they sing of Jesus Christ, 
but we know them to demonstrate the love of Christ every day, not just when people are watching. When we, we have known them for many years and can testify to their faith and their love for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our prayer is that they will put together a music project that will be an encouragement to the discouraged, a blessing to the faithful, and hope for a lost and dying world. Jesus is the only answer. They are God's chosen. It is an honor and privilege to write words of affirmation, for we are forgiven. Our hope and our prayer is the Lord will continue to use them to remind the lost that they too can be forgiven. And that's what our name is all about. We are forgiven. Um, you know, we're not, again, like I said, we're not, we're not fancy, we're not choreographed, we're not, uh, we're not, uh, we're not, we're just here to minister. And we just hope that you'll uh, support this ministry by, uh, by supporting this Kickstarter uh, adventure. So if you don't mind, I'll go ahead and pray. Uh, Lord, we praise you and love you. Lord, we thank you for all that you bless us with. Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to reach out to those who uh, who are willing and, and have a desire to support this ministry. Lord, we just pray that you'll put it on their hearts, Lord. If it's, uh, if it's to support it financially, that's awesome. Lord, if it's to support it in prayer, that's even better, Lord. We just ask that you'll... you'll You'll, uh, anybody who sees this video, anybody who's considering this project, Lord, the very first thing that they'll do is just pray about it, Lord. Just pray about uh, uh, who is going to contribute to it, uh, how it is going to be supported, how it is going to be, how it's going to transpire, Lord. How it will be put together, Lord. That it won't be just a just a recording in a recording studio, Lord, but that it'll be uh, anointed for Your purposes, Lord. Not about us, but to glorify You, Lord. We thank You for everyone that's watching this and and considering it, Lord. Just uh, be with them, give them a peace about it, and Lord, we just pray that uh, this project would, as as those who've mentioned to us and written to us, Lord, would say, Lord, that this would be all about glorifying you, Lord, all about ministering to those uh, who out, out there who are hurting, Lord, those who who uh, maybe aren't hurting but just love you so much that they want to praise you and love you and, and sing along with these uh, the songs that will be on this, Lord. We just thank you again for this opportunity. We praise you and we thank you, uh, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Thank you again for uh, looking at this. Sorry it's so long, 12 minutes and something, almost 13 minutes. I hope you didn't get too bored. Uh, but listen, we love you, we, we praise God for you, and we just pray that God will touch your heart and bless you, regardless of whether or not you contribute to this, uh, to this campaign. Look, we just pray that, that He'll reach down and bless you for your prayers, uh, that He'll reach down and, and bless you for your encouragement. We've had so many people encouraging us on this, and we just ask that you'll continue to pray for this ministry, that uh, others also would be blessed uh, through what He's doing uh, in our ministry and in the ministries that we're uh, surrounded with. So many great ministries. Uh, I can't even mention them all. But anyway, thank you. Sorry it's so long. That's me. They call me the mouth of the group. <laughs> God bless you and thank you and have a blessed day.